So, I promised that I would work out how to zoom you in and get you a little bit closer to these crocodiles. So here goes. Mew. Now it's interesting, most of the crocodiles at all the crossing points, and we'll take you through all of them as the afternoon goes along, but they are all out in the sun basking. And it's been a cold day, one of the coldest days we've experienced in weeks in the Mara. So, and we also had quite a lot of rain yesterday and the day before. So basically, I think these crocodiles are enjoying what little rays of sunshine are poking out that literally the sun's only started to poke out and the clouds have only started to clear about half an hour ago. Other than that, it's been a gloomy, drizzly day, which has been wonderful for some little missions. I've been on a run this morning with Kirsty and Jerry, and we went exploring in a riverbed close to camp, which was very nice. And then I went out with Ferg a little bit later on to try and get some footage of a Narina Trogan. Sorry, not Ferg, Eggsy. Sorry, Eggsy, if you're watching. Eggsy's got the day off, so he came for a little mission into this valley just below camp, and we managed to see a, oh, we managed to see a Narina Trogan. I'm busy cutting together a video, but we only got a glimpse of it. This is another impressive bird, not as rare and secretive as the Narina Trogan, but this is a gray heron, and it interestingly flew into that spot where we can see it now because it tried to steal a fish from another predatory bird which was lurking somewhere over here. I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to see it. No, it's disappeared around the corner there, sadly. It was a yellow-billed stork, and it managed to catch a fish. And if birds take too long to gobble up their prey, other birds often catch wind and come in and try and steal it. So theft is commonplace archer in the African wilderness. Amongst all the carnivores, the mammalians, the birds, even the fish, swimming in this river will compete with one another quite fiercely, so size matters. And we're at Main South Crossing here, for what that's worth, if some of you know the crossings a little bit better than others. And seeing as though there's no wildebeest that are evident from here in the Masai Mara, we may as well send you down to South Africa where Tristan's managed to find some.